Now, I've been tying a lot of historic patterns lately, and I love doing that, just digging up some old forgotten or semi-forgotten fly, but I'm not gonna do that for you today. I'm gonna do something else that I love to do, and that's just experimenting, playing around at the bench, trying out some materials that I haven't used in a while, or maybe some that I've never used. And I did pick up something in my last order that I've never used before. It's this Icelandic sheep hair. And this, it's a four by three inch piece. It's about $5 and it's really a cool looking material. Now I've never even seen a pattern that calls for this, probably because I don't tie a lot of saltwater flies. I'm betting some of the folks out there who do tie saltwater or for pike and muskie, some of the big predator flies, they might be familiar with this stuff. So my question today was, can a trout or bass fisherman come up with a pattern that uses this stuff? Well, I think so. You're about to see me give it a try. So this stuff, it's really pretty interesting. It reminds me a little bit of a cross between a marabou and then a craft fur. And some of the hairs on this piece right here are four, five, even six inches long. So this pattern I came up with today, it's just another small, sleek looking hair wing bait fish pattern. And a pattern like this really would look good with jungle cock cheeks, but I know a lot of folks don't have jungle cock and it's really hard to come by nowadays. So I wanna show you another trick that you can use to kind of put eyes on a streamer. And that's using this, natural guinea fowl. Now this is really another economical type material for a fly tire. Lots of feathers on here you can use. You've got the flight feathers you can use for old school winged wet flies. You can make tailing material, some throats, some of the feathers you can even wrap as a collar hackle. But what I'm gonna to do today, I wanna to take some of these smaller feathers and tie some pretty classic looking cheeks. And as of today, a skin like this is about $20 on Amazon. If you don't have one or have never tied with one, consider picking one up. I'll put a link in the description. But before we get into today's fly, and since I just made this thing up, it doesn't have a name, let me know in the comments what you think we should call this. Now this isn't our formal holiday name the fly contest. We're gonna do that in a couple weeks with St. Patrick's Day fly, but I will send the winner a Savage Flies hat and a t-shirt. And one last note, if you don't routinely sit down and experiment, just play around at the vise with new materials, you should give it a shot. It's really one of the most fun things we can do as fly tires. So there it is in the vise, just a pretty sleek little bait fish pattern with some unique materials, though they are not hard to find or expensive. And I'm gonna tie this on a size eight. That's a 6X long Limerick Bend Daiichi 2340 if you're interested. And I'm gonna use some black thread and I'm stepping it up to a 140 denier. Let's take it back to the bend. And first thing I wanna catch in, size 14 Mylar tinsel. And I want the silver side showing, so I'm gonna catch it in with the silver side toward the hook. And the body, I'm gonna use a white wool yarn. This is one strand of a four strand yarn. I'm gonna catch it in up front. And then some open loose wraps, just to get it to the back. Now I'll part my thread up front, a couple eye lengths back. And you might want to cord this up a little bit, depending on how thick a body you want. But my goal here is just to, you know, get it up front without any of this black thread underneath showing. Okay, when you've got a nice fuzzy flat body, go ahead and catch this off. And then just wrap this rib up. Counter wrap it if you want. I don't think it's really necessary. I'm just gonna wrap it the same way I wrapped that wool. Now here's that new material, this Icelandic sheep hair. See how long this is? And if I just caught it in right there, I wouldn't be tying in a whole lot of material. So I'm gonna break one of the rules and I'm gonna cut it off just about right here. And the old rule of never cutting the tips of hair or, you know, feathers, I, it's a pretty good rule, but I think we can get away with doing that with this because this is just really such soft stuff and it's gonna have a pretty good look through the water, I'm thinking. So let's catch it in about right here. I'm gonna clockwise spin this thread to kind of cord it up a little bit and then just catch it in a few wraps right here. Go back a little bit, make us some room here. 
Can you see that? I think that that is soft enough. It's gonna, it almost looks like craft fur. I think it's gonna move through the water pretty well. And the next thing we're gonna want, just some kind of darker topping. And I'm gonna use a squirrel, and this happens to be dyed green. It certainly doesn't need to be, but since squirrel is pretty slippery, I'm gonna put a good bit of wax on this. And then also, you know, clockwise, spin this thread to cord it up just a little bit more. And that should help me get a better bite on this when I try to catch it in right on top. So there we go, I think that's gonna be fine. Okay, that was kind of kicking my butt there for a second, but we finally got it. And I'm gonna spin just a few wraps right here to bury this, smooth out this head a little bit. Okay, I think that works. Now, if you have some jungle cock, I think a pattern like this would look great with it. But I know a lot of people don't, so I'm gonna substitute this guinea, just put some cheeks on it right here. I think this would be a, a pretty cool look and you know, give it that hint of eyes. And we'll do the same thing on this side here. Okay, when you got them positioned, go ahead and put a few extra wraps to lock them in. My thread just slipped off a little bit right there, but I did not lose these, so we'll go ahead and back that up and try again. Okay, that happens. We still got a fine fly here. Let's just put a few extra wraps and clean up this head. Now take a look, see if we have any cleanup. I'm not gonna worry about any cleanup. I got a couple of rogue fibers coming off right there, but I think that's gonna give it a neat look through the water. So that's it, my friends. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you leave a comment with what y'all think we should name this thing.